intriguing to see how these worlds will collide here tonight as Stoll looks to take it right towards the glass what and it's in trouble. Or Evans getting foul trouble. Could be trouble for either program as Evans with the assist the from. player averaged over 14 points and over six assists a game last year. And how about Kenna Squire? She got a free pass and it was like going through. Evans helps set up the screen. Litwinko left-handed layup and just before the buzzer were to sound. And right now, it's Myers pulls up, makes it count. And JIT needed someone to create something out of nothing. And Here's Hall. And a charge. And I got to be honest with you, I've seen many players take charges. Litwinko's going to try for three. Yes! Litwinko gets the switch. But Winko off balance. It's Monmouth. Coach Lane feels like it's tough to rebound out of a 2 3 zone, and it's been an advantage for Monmouth anyway. Good piece of passing. Squire gets a wide open look after the pass from Maria Fuchs. And what Squire wants to drive, but uh, give it an Ellen Stolen opportunity. Line drive looking jumper. And then JIT. They're going to look good coming into America East play. As Kenneth Squire takes it to the rack and NJIT now after Winko. Myers now pulls up for the jumper, makes it rain. Nice job there by Aria. Yeah, it's a while to sort of kill that flow. Here's the gift to Brereton. <laughs> One helping over on Brereton. Brereton puts it up and it finally tips in. That does first team or third team all preseason. Squire. Using those long arms to her advantage. Brereton able to break through. It's an eight point. Same with UMass Lowell. Myers from the corner. Able to hit a three. The Cedar Grove, New Jersey native. 